All right, friends, welcome back to Mining Positivity. Oh, I did not want to do that. So in our last episode, we had just unlocked the new Spire. I have not put my stuff away yet, but I wanted to talk to some of these people because they had some things for us. So she said we can have strawberry wine. Oh, we can make these farm soil things too and start planting. Nothing new from the hunter. Let's check our people downstairs. Nothing new there. We do have some new things here. What have you got for me? Alright, yeah, we got a couple new things here. Okay. So let me empty my backpack and we can lay some of these things down. Okay, everything's put away now. Let's take a look if we can build some of these new items. I'm pretty sure we can build his for sure. Alright. We got it. We'll probably put this right here unless it looks totally ridiculous. It does not. So we can put clay in here and get fired bricks. That seems to be the only thing we can make with that. We unlocked a medium magic chest and we need wow, shroud core and goo. That's really expensive. I don't know if we'll be doing that anytime soon. Oh, we only need two more of the shroud sacks and then we'll be able to get our improved glider. We almost can do the grappling hook. But again, it's shit route cores. I don't know. Ugh. There's so many new items in here, too. Look at the windows. That's a nice window. Godspeed. We have new axe. New pickaxe. All right, and with that, we're going to go right back where we were in the last episode, which is at the spire. And then we're going to, we're still trying to make it <laughs> to get the spindle. I, I don't know. We're so distracted now. I don't even know which one the spindle is, but let's get over here first. So it's this cave entrance, apparently. Which, oh, look at these textures not loaded in. Look at that. It's like a totally different game, huh? So strawberries definitely seem to be in abundance around here. Oh wow. What is going on here? I mean, these flowers are great XP, so like even if you don't plan on crafting those particular types of arrows, you can just farm these guys for XP. That's like a whole pack of those. Aw, oh, they saw me. Okay, they can't get up here. I can't believe it's this much to get this spindle thing when so many things like rely upon it. Okay, looks like we're on the right track. It says the entrance is up here. Okay, it says the location is above. Is it that? Cave entrance, here we go. Okay. Bunch of mushrooms, might as well grab those. Oh, spiders. That thing came flying out. Oh, I'm taking poison damage too. This is going to be difficult because I have to like... Balance being able to see with the spiders. Some heavy duty spiders right there, man. Ooh, yeah. Uh, 
I love that they give you string, though. Okay. So it said for me to come to this cave, so I'm assuming there's something in this cave somewhere, right? It says the hunter's notes. Okay. Looks like I found something here. Oh, I don't like this. I just keep getting the feeling like this huge spider is about to come out of somewhere. Like just a massive... Yep. That looks like a boss notification to me. Okay. Abandoned Hunter Camp. Well, there's light in here. There's also a lot of dudes in here. Like a lot of spiders. And I'm guessing I need to go over there to that thing. Do I make a run for it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be down here. There's a lot of spiders. Like a lot of them. Although, we're picking them off pretty good. Let's keep waiting for that screen notification that's going to be like, Mega Brood Spider has awakened. Okay. Oh, we got it. Good. I was like, is it going to tell us that it's in another location or something? Please don't. There's a lot more spiders down there than there was a minute ago. I don't know why they're all gathering there, but... I'm assuming something's not quite right. And I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to get a bunch of XP. Yeah, look at that. That's a spider massacre right there, man. Not even mad. Oh, there's like red bats in here. Of course. He could have just stayed aggro against that thing he was chasing, but he sees me and instantly like, nah, he looks like an easier meal. Uh, 
Okay. I think we got what we were looking for. I mean, do we keep pressing? I don't, I don't want to keep pressing. Yeah, no, let's go back home. Okay. Oh, it's a small little table. I think we'll, like, put it right here so she's kind of, like, working at it. I can do it. Okay. Linen requires... Wow. It requires flax? How are we supposed to get a bunch of flax? By going to that place? Can you help us craft? Or... Okay, we can make a seed bed. Let's make one of these and kind of see if this is what we need to be planting something. Now let's take it outside. Okay. Now what can we do with this thing? There's 12 recipes in here. Oh, we can plant flax. Okay. Okay. Good. So we need that and just water. I'm going to split this stack of water. Throw that in there. Throw this flax in there. I think I got some more downstairs from the first trip. One. We have one. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we can plant them. Okay, so I guess the planters are important. I didn't really think that the planters would be that important. But it looks like they're going to be kind of crucial for us. So we should probably make some more planners. Okay, we'll kind of move these later on, but it gives us a place to at least initially get started. And let's see if we can grab some more water from this well over here. Since I can dismantle this thing, that has to be that eventually at some point in the game you can actually craft a well. Okay, some of the plants require farm soil. So I need that for the strawberries it looks like. Alright, so we got three things growing now. Oh yeah, and it just gave us ten based upon what we had. So we'll go ahead and take the first 10. The rest will replant and get them growing. But I'm because I'm imagining we're going to need a lot of this. But let's go ahead and make up our first little bit of linen. Oh, these are seeds. Oh, no. OK, wait, I'm missing something. So we put this in here. This gives us 10 seeds says it needs to be sown into the right soil. Oh, it's just like the ground. Okay. Oh, it's hard to tell after you plant it where it went. So the hazelnut is something we can eat. I'm imagining that's going to be used for some kind of recipe later on. Okay, we got to figure out how to get her fireplace. Because that's the thing holding her back. Okay, I want to see how many shroud cores we can craft up here. And then see if we can't upgrade our base. Yeah, we could do quite a few here, I think. That was four. That's pretty good. And I think that will give us what we need for this. Yeah, and it'll leave us two left over. Okay. And let's see what our build space is now. I'm pretty sure it's gigantic at this point. Like, I can't even see the red line anymore. 
Yeah, there's one way up there. Those two are kind of close to each other. So I am a little worried about removing this other altar because I don't know which line is which. I gotta imagine one of these two is the new one, so we should be fine. We're going deeper out into the farming area now. You know what? For the moment, I think I'll leave it. It's not hurting anything being here. I just eventually don't want that there. Let's see if any of our seedlings have grown up into anything. No, we don't know how long that stuff takes either. Okay, and I think we have what we need where we can upgrade the grappling hook too. So yeah, it looks like we have to unequip this thing. Requires less stamina, can be activated at larger ranges. Okay. It looks cooler, too. I think the only other thing we can do is while we're waiting for the flax to grow up is we can go back and see if we can snag a couple more of those blue flowers in the shroud so we can craft our upgraded glider and we'll call the episode at that. Okay, there's one. And I think we only need two. But I might hang out in here to see if I can push my character to the next level. Oh, there's another one. Okay, yeah, we're really close to leveling up. I think I see one right there. It would be helpful to just run across a pack of guys. That would probably give us the level we need. That did it. Level 10. Nice. Alright, let's get back to base. Alright, I believe that gave us what we needed for the upgraded glider as well now. Oh no, we still need the linen. <laughs> so... We can take a look at our skill points. We have five. That's going to allow us to put it on this final point. I just, I feel like this one's a no-brainer. You're getting so many stat increases from a single perk. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then we'll continue working on this tree right here. And yeah, guys, hopefully you're still enjoying the series. And if you are, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, let me know. And I will see you in the next episode of Mining Positivity. Bye, friends.